We're hoping for some good weather out there. And the thing is, we should be getting good weather. It is going to be a little bit cooler. You're going to want that extra layer if you're going to be perfect spending for all clam day chowder. in Chowder. It's going to be perfect. Not too warm, really just that perfect weather with a little bit more cloud cover and cooler conditions through the daytime hours. Now, that's a little bit different than what we've been seeing recently. We all have had this big low pressure sitting off our coast that has been bringing us some pretty significant offshore winds over the last couple of days that have kept us a little bit warmer. We did see some more cloud cover in those rain showers over the last couple of days, but brought us relatively clear conditions, especially in the evening hours. That's not really going to be the case for this weekend. A lot more cloud cover is going to be sticking around. So photos like this may be a little bit more common with more cloud cover through the evening hours, like this one sent in by Amy Joseph out in Pismo Beach. You can even see a little bit of those cloud cover areas trying to produce a little bit of rain, not really making it down to the surface. This is a little bit more of that Virga, so that's rain that doesn't quite make it down to the surface here on the Central Coast. But if you have any photos like this one that you're particularly proud of, we would love to see them. Be sure to send them to us using the hashtag be on KSBY so that we can feature them right here on KSBY News. Now for today, we do have a little bit more of that dense fog. That's mainly going to be part in portions of our coastal valleys along our western beaches and along our south coast, but also in those interiors, there is a chance for a little bit of fog that's making its way down the Salinas River Valley into the San Miguel and Paso Robles area this morning. Just something to keep an eye on as you head out the door for your morning commute and temperatures. We're going to be seeing those a little bit more mild this morning. 48 degrees in Paso Robles at our cold spot. You might want that extra layer as you head out the door there. 55 in Santa Maria, 56 in California Valley and 63 degrees in Santa Barbara for this morning. Now, over the daytime hours, it is going to warm up dramatically today, getting up towards 90 degrees in those interiors, 89 in Paso Robles, 73 in San Luis Obispo, 70 degrees in Santa Maria, 69 degrees in Lompoc, and 70 degrees in Santa Barbara for today. Along our north coast, not too bad, 90 in San Miguel, 63 in Morro Bay, 66 in San Simeon. In the Five Cities region, comfortable conditions there as well. Napomo at 69 degrees, 62 in Pismo Beach, and 64 degrees in Los Osos along our south coast. They did see a little bit more rain over the last few days, keeping them slightly cooler. 77 degrees in San Inez, 74 in Los Alamos, and 70 degrees in Goleta. Now, things are about to change in our forecast, and that's all thanks to this low pressure system. So it's sitting just down towards our south. It's going to move a little bit farther towards the east over the next couple of days. That's going to help bring in some cooler air towards us here on the central coast, kind of cut off all that offshore flow. But as this continues to move farther towards the east, we're going to see lots more of that dense fog. And we're also going to be seeing a little bit of a change in the forecast with this big dip in the jet stream that could bring us some chances of rain with a little bit more instability as that makes its way towards us here a little bit later on into next week. But checking out that seven day forecast, cooler conditions are expected, dropping about 10 degrees from today's highs to tomorrow's highs in those interior valleys, staying cool through the weekend. Then we're going to start a days long warming trend into next week, staying pretty mild throughout the whole time with a few chances for rain embedded in that forecast. Janelle, back to you. Looking good for